Statistics and Excel. Type in mathematical equations in Microsoft Excel. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, and looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, just two tabs down below this time, example and blank. Example, in essence, answer key, blank tab, blank worksheet, where we will work through the practice problem together. Let's take a look at the example tab to get an idea of where we will be going. Now note, when we think about actual mathematical formulas and equations, things that look like this on the left-hand side, it can be a little bit confusing when we then try to work through practice problems in Excel because we usually think about in Excel functions, which start with say an equal sign like the sum function, and then we're gonna put some data inputs in order for it to give us the result of uh, the functions. However, oftentimes it's useful for us to actually type down the equations. And so, so we're gonna practice doing that here. We'll actually type the equation in place. And it also can be a little bit confusing when using Excel to use some of the symbols, which often are like Greek symbols, for example. And so the common symbols we'll be using in statistics might be like an X bar, a sigma, a mu, a sigma squared, for example. And there's a couple different ways that we can type those. Now note, when you're working in Excel, then if you can convert something to a function, like if you're gonna take the mean of something, you might use an average function, it's, it's quite useful, but sometimes it's useful to think about things algebraically too. So the good old paper and pencil sometimes is a, a, a good way uh, to go. But the other thing you can also do is take a complex equation and basically break it down in kind of a worksheet in a table type of format, which is often something that's useful to do in Excel. So we'll get kind of an idea of what I'm talking about later. But for now, what we wanna do is just say, well, how can I type something like this uh, into Excel? And how can I basically get some of the letters that I would like to use uh, in our mathematical equations in Excel so I can represent them in our cells? Let's go to the blank tab to check that out. So if I just wanna add, if I wanna type an equation, I could go to the insert tab up top and you've got the symbols on uh, the right in the symbols group. So if I just wanna add a symbol, I can go here. If there's a particular mass symbol, that's like a Greek symbol or Greek letter or something. And, or I can go to the equation. So here, let's add the equation. Now, if I hit the drop down, you've got some standard equations. So the ones we're working with, we might be able to find uh, you know, in the standard equations. But let's practice typing it in here. That gives us our formula bar. Now, if we go into our formula bar, then we could uh, then add all of the items uh, within a formula. So we can do that by going to the equation up top. So remember, I've added a formula here. I'm going to scroll in a little bit. And if I'm off of it, I don't see the tabs up top. But if I go onto it, then I've got the shape format and uh, the equations. Now I could add each kind of component of the equation and it gives you these little little helper boxes and tools, uh, which is quite useful. And, and you can, it's tedious to do but you can build a, a complex formula using all of these tools. However, there's an easier way to do it, which I think would, would be useful for most people. We can go to the tools over here and say, I would like to write it with an ink equation. And if you have a, if you have, and it looks like this, and then it'll try to simulate what you are writing using these tools in essence, which, which is great. Uh, however, you know, I'm going to have to do that, of course, with just an ink pen, with just my mouse. So if you had an actual pen to write, it would be easier, but you could do it with your mouse. I'll do it with my mouse here. So we're going to write this first equation, which is, this is the mean. This is one way we can represent it. I'm going to put an X here. And so you can see what it's trying to do. It's like a two. No, I put the other bar and it's like, oh, it's an X. Okay. And then I'll put the bar over the top of it. And so it reads that correctly, an equal sign. I'm just gonna say equals, and then I'm gonna say X, and I wanna say this is gonna be subset one. So notice it thinks it's a two, then it's an X, so like, yeah, that's it. And then I'm gonna put a little one next to it. So it picks that up nicely, and then a plus button. 
I'm gonna say plus, and then I'll say X, and I'm just doing this with a mouse so you can, although it's hard to type with a mouse, you can do it. And if you get something wrong, you can erase it down here. So I can erase that too if I wanted to. Boom, it's gone. Uh, you can also circle something and it gives you other options. So if I'm like, that is not an X and they give you other options that, well, maybe I'll give it a different guess, right? It kind of does that. So, but I think the easiest thing is usually to, <laughs> to just delete the wrong thing and retype it. So there's a two, so that looks good. And then I'm gonna say plus, and then X, see that's an ugly X. See if it picks it up, it still, it still sees it. It still gets it. Three, I did that on purpose just to show how it can uh, pick it up even when you do an ugly X. And then plus, and then I'm gonna put dot, 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 